you can use the graphing calculator to work with complex numbers. As we saw before, we've already make sure that you're in the correct mode that you have A plus B I selected. So if I were to do the square root of you know negative sixty four, <coughs> what should that give me? Square of negative four should give me what? Anybody? No one? Eight I. Should give you eight I, so there you have eight I. You can type in these other expressions as well, but you have to know how to type in the I. Look right here above, above the decimal. It's kind of hard to see, but if you do second decimal, it brings up the I. So that means if I want to type in, say, this expression that we just worked on, 9 plus 10 second decimal to get your I times 9 minus 10 I. That gives you 181. Uh, the expression that we have here at the, the top. If I type in 3 minus i times 5 minus 4 i, we have an answer that should be 11 minus 17 i. Got it. Even the ones that were on the other video. If you want to add these guys, we saw we had 3 minus 17 i plus negative 10 minus 20 i. Please be very careful that you know the difference between a negative and subtraction. If you use any of these symbols over here, add, subtract, multiply, divide, it requires a number both before and after that symbol. Okay, so when I ha if I put a minus sign here, it doesn't understand that. That's why I use the negative symbol to do that. And so I get the answer that I had before, which was negative 7 minus 37i.